Bandeham Shri Guru Shri Yudha Parakamlam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sankrajatam Sagunaraganatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadu Tam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rana Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishikam Bitam Sya Oma Jnana Timaranda Sya Gena Jana Shalakaya Chakshurum vidam yena tasma shi gurave namo Gurva bistam supurakam garganara se shasam bhushitam Chintya chintya samasta veda nipanam shi rupa patanagam Govinda vidam ujwalam baratanum bhaktyan vidam sundaram Bande vishwagurun shah divyat bhagavad prem nawe bijapranam Devum divyatanum suchanda paranam balarka chelanchitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadeka Bananam Vairagya Vidyamburim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Sarasatanam Param Bandetam Shubhanam Madeka Sharanam Nyasi Swarashi Dharam Bansha Kopataru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyavacha Patita Nam Pavanibhyo Vaishnabhyo Namo Nama Namo Mahabaranyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gauratabhishe Namo well, We're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by the Srila Krishna Das Kavi Swami Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada This is Madhya Leela chapter 21 The Opulence and Sweetness of Lord Krishna this is verse number 112. Gopyas tapa, gopyas tapa kim acharanyad amusha rupam, lavanyasaram asamordvam ananyasidam, drigbi pibanti anusab, anusavabhinavam durapam ekantadama yashasa. Shriya Aishwarasya. What austerities must the gopis have performed with their eyes? They always drink the nectar of the form of Lord Krishna, which is the essence of loveliness and is not to be equated or surpassed. That loveliness is the only abode of beauty, fame, and opulence. It is self perfect, ever fresh, and unique. Tarunyamrita. Paravara Tarangalavanyasara Tate se Avarta Vavodgama Bamshi Dwani Chakravata Nariramana Trina Pata Daha Dubaya Nahoi Udgama Tarunyamrita Paravara Tarangalavanyasara Tate se Avarta Bhavodgama Vamsidwani Chakravata Nariraman Srinapata Taha Dubaya Nahoi Udgama The bodily beauty of Sri Krishna is like a wave in the ocean of eternal youth. In that great ocean is the whirlpool of the awakening of ecstatic love. The vibration of Krishna's flute is like a whirlwind. And the flickering minds of the gopis are like straws and dry leaves. After they fall down in the whirlwind, they never rise again but remain eternally at the lotus feet of Krishna. Sati he kon tapa koila gopigan Krishna rupa samuduri pibi pibi netrabari shlagya kore janma tanuman. Oh, my dear friend, what severe austerities! Have the gopis performed to drink his transcendental beauty and sweetness through their eyes in complete fulfillment. Thus they glorify their births, bodies, and minds. Jemad Madhura Jemadhurir Urdvaan Nahijara Saman Parabyome Swaru Paragane Jehu Sava Avatari Parabyoma Arikari E Madhurya Nahi Narayane. The sweetness of Krishna's beauty enjoyed by the gopis is un unparalleled. Nothing is equal to or greater 
than such ecstatic sweetness. Even the predominating deities of the Vaikuntha planets, the Narayanas, do not possess such sweetness. Indeed, none of the incarnations of Krishna up to Narayan possess such transcendental beauty. Tate Saki Se Rama Narayanera Priyatama Patibrata Ganera Upasha Tihoje Madhurya Lobe Chade Sub Kamaboge Brata Kori Korila Tapasha The vivid evidence in this regard is that the dear dearest consort of Narayan, the goddess of fortune, who is worshipped but it, by all chaste women, gave up everything in her desire to enjoy Krishna, being captivated by his unparalleled sweetness. Thus she took a great vow and underwent severe austerities. So this, this is brought up in the conversations uh, that Mahab, Mahaprabhu uh, had, what I mentioned the other day, the father of... of uh, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, uh, what's his name? Very embarrassing, keep on forgetting things. Uh, his name is... Um, huh? Uh, Prabodhananda, his he's the he's the brother brother and his uh, no okay anyway I'm going on Seta Madhuryasar Anya City I'll just note edit this part out <laughs> okay. well the convers the point of the conversation that uh, um, is that Ma, that Mahaprabhu asks, he is, he's a, the, the person who is the father of Gopal Bhatta Goswami is, uh, uh, he's a, a devotee of Lakshmi Narayan. So Mahaprabhu asks him, well, why is it that your goddess of fortune you know that Lakshmi, she's the she's the the wife of Narayan. Why did she undergo austerities to uh, enter into the pastimes of Krishna? And and uh, Venkatabhata, I think it is Venkatabhata. He says, well, there's nothing wrong with that because uh, because Krishna and is non-different from uh, Narayan. He's giving the implication that, well, Krishna is an, an incarnation of Narayan. And, and he's, so he, sa he says, well, he becomes a little defensive and he says, but, you know, there's no difference between Krishna and Narayan, so, so Lakshmi's not being unchaste by wanting it to enter in the pastimes of Krishna, which are more sportive than the pastimes of Narayan. And then Mahaprabhu says, that's all right, but why was she unsuccessful? She underwent austerities for, for so many years to enter into the pastimes of Krishna, but still she was unsuccessful. Because the idea is that Lakshmi, is, being the goddess of fortune, is always with a sense of worship of Aishvarya Gyan, knowledge in, 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 with formality, awe, reverence, majesty. That's the nature of Lakshmi. But that won't work for entering into Krishna's pastimes. Whereas the, the uh, personified Vedas, they wanted to enter in Krishna's pastimes and they went under went meditation on austerities and then they could be reborn as gopis and then enter into the pastimes of Krishna. But otherwise, Lakshmi, she can't come to enter into Krishna's pastimes. But she has a sense of majesty and awe and reverence for her. There's some, you know, that's not the mood of Vrindavan. So 
Eta madhuryasar anya siddhi nakitar Teho madhuryadi gunab tani arasab prakashe tara data gunabase jahan jata prakashe karyajani. The quintessence of Krishna's sweet bodily luster is so perfect that there are that there is no perfection above it. He is the immutable mind of all transcendental qualities. In his other manifestations and personal expansions, there is only a partial exhibition of such qualities. We, under, we understand all his personal expansions in this way. Gopi Baba Dharapan Nava Nava Tanekan Tara Age Krishnera Madhurya Dohe Kore Huda Hudi Bare Mukha Nahi Mudi Nava Nava Dohara Prachurya Both the gopis and Krishna are complete. The gopis' ecstatic love is like a mirror that becomes newer and newer at every moment and reflects Krishna's bodily luster and sweetness. Thus competition, thus competition increases. Since neither give up, their pastimes become newer and newer, and both sides constantly increase. Well, both the gopis and Krishna are complete. The gopis' ecstatic love is like a mirror that becomes newer and newer at every moment and reflects Krishna's bodily luster and sweetness. Thus competition increases. Since neither give up, their pastimes become newer and newer, and both sides constantly increase. So both Krishna and the gopis' love is always increasing, and the gopis' love is mirroring Krishna. And like this. Katmatapa yoga gyan, bidi bhakti japa dhyan, Iha hoite madhurya durlaba, kevala je raga marge, baje krishne anurage, tare krishna madhurya sulaba. A transcendental mellows, uh, transcendental mellows generated from the dealings between the gopis and Krishna cannot be tasted by means of fruitive activity. Yogic austerity, speculative knowledge, regulative devotional service, which means vidi mark, mantra yoga or meditation. This sweetness can be tasted only through the spontaneous love of liberated persons who chant the holy names with great ecstatic love. A transcendental mellows, which we can say, which means rasa, the rasas, the transcendental mellows generator from the dealings between the gopis and Krishna cannot be tasted by means of fruitive activity, yogic austerities, speculative knowledge, regulative devotional service, mantra yoga, or meditation. His sweetness can be tasted only through the spontaneous love of liberated persons who chant the holy names with great ecstatic love. So we're very fortunate to have come in contact with those uh, kinds of persons who can transmit this. They have the proper receiver, and receiving it, they trans transmit it to us. Say rupa rajasroy aishwarya madhurya moy divya guna gana ratna loy anera vaibhava sattva krishna datta bhagavata krishna sarva amshi sarvasroy. Such ecstatic transactions between Krishna and the gopis are possible only in Vrindavan, which is full of the opulences of, of divine love. The form of Krishna is the original source of all qualities, of all transcendental qualities. It's like a mine of gems. The opulences belonging to all the personal expansions of Krishna are to be understood, to be bestowed by Krishna. Therefore, Krishna's original source and shelter of everyone. Such ecstatic transactions between Krishna and the gopis are possible only in Vrindavan, 
which is full of the opulences of transcendental love. <clears throat> the form of Krishna is the original source of all transcendental qualities. It is like a mine of gems. The opulences belonging to all the personal expansions of Krishna are to be understood to be bestowed by Krishna. Therefore, Krishna is the original source and shelter of everyone. Sri Laja Doya Sri Laja Doya Kirti Darya Vaisharadi Mati Esab Krishna Pratishtita Shushila Mridu Vadanya Krishna Sama Nahiyanya Krishna Kore Jagatarahita Beauty, humility, mercy, merit, patience, and expert intelligence are all manifested in Krishna. But besides these, Krishna has other qualities like good behavior, mildness, and magnanimity. He also performs welfare activities for the whole world. All these qualities are not visible in expansions like Narayan. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur mentions that the qualities of beauty, humility, mercy, merit, patience, and expert intelligence are brilliant qualities, and when they are exhibited in the person of Narayan, one should know that they are bestowed upon Narayan by Krishna. Good behavior, mildness, and magnanimity are found only in Krishna. Only Krishna performs welfare activities for the whole world. Krishna Deki Nanajan Koila Nimishe Nindan Braje Bidin Ninde Gopigan Sesab Shloka Pare Mahaprabhu Arta Kore Suke Madhurya Kore Asvadan. After seeing Krishna, various people criticized the blinking uh, of their eyes. In Vrindavan, especially, all the gopis criticized Lord Brahma because of this defect of, in the eyes. Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recited some verses from Srimad Bhagavatam and explained them vividly, thus enjoying the taste of transcendental sweetness with great happiness. Yashya nanan makara kundala charugarna brajat kapula suvagam Subila sahasam niyot savam na tatripur drishibi pibandya naryo narascha murita kupitani mescha. All men and women were accustomed to enjoying the beauty of the shining face of Krishna as well as his shark shaped. Uh, earrings swinging on his ears. His beautiful features, his cheeks, and his playful smiles all combined to form a constant festival for the eyes, and the blinking of the eyes became obstacles that impeded one from seeing that beauty. For this reason, men and women became very angry at the Creator, Lord Brahma. Atatiyad bhavan anikaranam That's a First from Srimad Bhagavatam, and then Mahaprabhu goes on in his own poetry explaining that. Atatiyad bhavan ani kananam trutir yugayate tvam apashyatam kutila kuntalam srimukam chate jada urikshatam Pakshma Kridrasham. Well, this verse is also from the Srimad Bhagavatam. Yes. O Krishna, when you go to the forest during the day and we do not see your sweet face, which is surrounded by beautiful curly hair, half a second becomes as long as an entire age for us. And we consider the Creator who has put eyelids on the eyes we use for seeing you to be simply a fool. Now, 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 Krishna comments. I mean, Mahaprabhu comments. Pardon me. Kama Gayatri Mantra Rupa Hoy Krishnera Swarupa Sarda Chavisha Akara Tara Hoy Se Akara Chandra Hoy Krishna Kori Udoy 
Sri Jagat Koila Kamamoy Krishna. This Krishna is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, is identical with the Vedic hymn known as the Kama Gayatri, which is composed of 24 and a half syllables. These syllables are compared to moons that arise in Krishna. Thus, all three worlds are filled with desire. So, Krishna is identical with the Vedic hymns known as Kama Gayatri. Krishna is identical with the Vedic hymn known as Kama Gayatri, which is composed of 24 and a half syllables. Those syllables are compared to moons that arise in Krishna. Thus, all three worlds are filled with desire. Saki he Krishna Mukha Dvija Raja Raja Krishna Bapu Simasane Bashi Raja Sasane Kore Sange Chandra Samaja The fame of Krishna is the king of all moons and the body of Krishna is the throne. Thus the king governs a society of moons. Krishna's face is considered the king of moons and his body is considered the throne. All the other Chandra's moons are considered to be subordinate moons. His left cheek is a moon and his right cheek is a moon. His forehead is considered a half moon. The spot of sandalwood pulp on his forehead is considered a moon and his fingernails and toenails are all, also different moons. Duiganda shoot. Shuchikan Jini Mani Sadarpan Sedui Purna Chandra Jani Lalate Ashtami Indu Tahate Chandana Bindu Se Ek Purna Chandra Mani Krishna has two cheeks that shine like glowing gems. Both are considered full moons. His forehead is considered a half moon and the spot of sandalwood there is considered a full moon. Karanaka Chandra Hata Vamsi Upara Korim Nata Taragita Muralir Tana Paranaka Chandragan Tale Kore Nartan Nupurer Dwani Jaragan His fingernails are many full moons and they dance on the flute in his hands. Their song is the melody of that flute. His toenails are also many full moons and they dance on the ground. Their song is the jingling of his ankle bells. Nachi Makara Kundala, Netra Lila Kamala, Vilasi Raja, Satata Nachai, Burudanu Netraban, Danur Guna Duikan, Nariman Lakya Bindetai. Krishna's face is the enjoyer king. That full moon face makes his shark-shaped earrings and lotus eyes dance. His eyebrows are like bows and his eyes are like arrows. His ears are fixed on the string of that bow and when his ears spread and when his eyes spread to his ears, he pierces the hearts of the gopis. Krishna's face is the enjoyer king. That full moon face makes his sharp-shaped earrings and lotus eyes dance. His eyebrows are like bows, and his eyes are like arrows. His ears are fixed on the string of that bow, and when his eyes spread to his ears, he pierces the hearts of the gopis. Echandera Baranata Pasari Chandera Hata Vinumule Vilai Nijamrita Kahansmrita Jochna Mrite Kahare Adaramrite Sabalog Kore Apyajita. The dancing features of his face surpass all other full moons and expand the marketplace of full moons. Although priceless, the nectar of Krishna's face is distributed to everyone. Some purchase the moon rays of his sweet smiles, and others purchase the nectar of his lips. Thus he pleases everyone. So as I've said before, this 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 chapter, is the, the, especially the conclusion, is Mahaprabhu go, going into great ecstasy and 
and it's all, you know, it mentions a few verses of the Bhagavatam, but then it continues with all the poetry, Mahaprabhu, which is, of course, given to us by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Vipula yataruna maran mara gornana mantri jara e dui narayan lavanya keli sadana jananetra rasayan sukamoy govinda badan. Krishna has two reddish, widely spread eyes. There are minister, these are ministers of the king and they subdue the pride of Cupid who also has beautiful eyes. That face of Govinda, which is full of happiness, is the home of the pastimes of beauty, and it is very pleasing to everyone's eyes. Jara punya punja pale se muka darshana mile dui anki ki kori be pane dui guna bare krishna lobe Pite nare manakob duke kore vidhira nindane. If by devotional service one gets the results of pious activities and sees and sees Krishna's face, what can he relish with only two eyes? His greed and thirst increase twofold by seeing the nectarian face of Krishna due to his inability to sufficiently drink that nectar. He becomes very unhappy and criticizes the Creator for not having given more than two eyes. One time we went with Srila Govinda Maharaj. We went to the aquarium, aquarium in, in, uh, in, in Mexico where in the town of where where is it where Madhu Chandu lives? Yeah. Uh, we're here. We're here, and see, my memory is always fa fa failing me, even when I remember when I'm mentioning things that I mention every day. So we live in uh, right now. We're living in. Uh, huh? No, no, we're living not in Guadalajara. Where do we live? <laughs> you. Soquel. Where is Soquel? What county? Santa Cruz. County. Santa Cruz. So in in we're in Santa Cruz, and they're in Ver. Ver where is it? Veracruz. Okay. Is it Veracruz? Sounds big. Huh? Sounds big. Yeah, Veracruz. So there's an aquarium there. We walked through that aqua aquarium. We saw all these different fish. So Govinda Maharaj asked at the end. So what is what is the most uh, what is the most kind of prominent of all these of the whole aquarium? And people were saying different answers. And I said, No, one fish had four eyes. He said, Yes. I don't know if all four of those eyes worked, but they had, <laughs> they had two eyes, and then he had like little, like uh, a little Antenna, I suppose. Antan oh. antennas with eyes, what appeared to be eyes on them, but they could have been non-functioning eyes, mm -hmm. but it was a four-eyed four fish, so. Mm -hmm. Veracruz, not Veer, not Veracruz, Veracruz. That's where we were famous. That's most that in all Mexico. That's the place most visited by Govinda Marsh. And we're in Santa Cruz. That's in Veracruz. Mm -hmm. Cruz is like the cross. The Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Is Santa is the Holy Cross. Mm -hmm. Veracruz is like the real cross or the the special. Veracruz, Santa Cruz. Na dile galaka koti sabe dila ankiduti tate nila nimisha achadan vidijara tapudan rasa shunya 
परमान नहीं जाने जोग्य श्रीजना When the onlooker of Krishna's face becomes dissatisfied in this way he thinks why didn't the creator give me thousands and millions of eyes why has he given me only two even these two eyes are disturbed by blinking which keeps me from uh, continuously seeing Krishna's face thus one accuses the creator of being dry and tasteless due to engaging in severe austerities The creator is only a dry manufacturer. He does not know how to create and set things in their proper places. Why has he given me these blinking eyes? When the onlooker of Krishna's face becomes dissatisfied, in this way he thinks, why didn't the creator give me thousands of millions of eyes? Why has he given me only two? Even these two eyes are disturbed by blinking, which keeps me from continuously seeing Krishna's face. Thus, one accuses the Creator of being dry and tasteless due to engaging in severe austerities. The Creator is only a dry manufacturer. He does not know how to create and set things in their proper places. So, we also will say. We're not obviously on talking with this ec- ecstasy of Mahaprabhu, but we say that Lord Brahma is an engineer. He makes all these different forms and the and the the parts and everything that functions like a manufacturer. But the soul is placed in that body, and the soul comes from the glance of the Lord. The, he glances over the material nature. His glance is personified as Rudra, and then the souls are placed in the womb of the of the material nature. Otherwise, Brahma is creating uh, creating bodies with two eyes, with blinking, and everything like this. And with the souls which inhabit inhabit those bodies, they come from uh, from the glance of the Lord. Jade kibe Krishna man, Tara kori dui nayan, Bidi haya hena abijar, Murajari bola dare, Koti anki, Tara kori tabe chani, Jogya shishtitar. The Creator says, Let those who will see Krishna's beautiful face have two eyes. Just see the lack of consideration exhibited by this person posing as a creator. If the creator took my advice, he would give millions of eyes to the person who intends to see Sri Krishna's face. If the creator will accept this advice, then I would say that he is competent in his work. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, not competent. Krishnanga Madhurya Sindhu. Sumadura Mukha Indu Ate Madhu Smitas Sukirane Eitini Lagi Laman Love Kore Asvadan Shloka Pare Swahasta Chalane The form of, of Sri Krishna's compared to an ocean, a particularly extraordinary vision is the moon above that ocean, Sri Krishna's face. And an even more extraordinary vision is, is his smile, which is sweeter than sweet and is like shining beams of moonlight. While speaking of these things with Sanatana Goswami, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to remember one thing after another, moving his hands in ecstasy. He recited a verse. So Mahaprabhu is talking with his hands. Moving his hands in ecstasy, reciting a verse. Madhuram madhuram vapur asya vibhur Madhuram madhuram paranam madhuram Madhugandhi mridu smitam metadaho Madhuram 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 O my Lord, the transcendental body The transcendental body, O oh my Lord, the transcendental body of Krishna is very sweet, and his face is even sweeter than his body, but his soft smile, which has the fragrance of honey, is sweeter still. 
Sanatana Krishna Madhurya Amritara Sindhu Moramana Sanipati Sabhite Korimati Dordaivam Vaidyana Deya Ekabindu. My dear Sanatan, the sweetness of Krishna's personality is just like an ocean of ambrosia. Although my mind is now a afflicted by convulsive diseases, and I wish to drink that entire ocean. The rep repressive physician does not allow me to drink even one drop. Krishnanga lavanya pur madhura hoitis samadur tatese mukha sudakar madhura hoite samadura Taha hoite sumadura taraje smita jochnabar. Krishna's body is a city of attractive features and it is sweeter than sweet. His face, which is like the moon, is sweeter still. And the supremely sweet, gentle smile on that moonlight face is like rays of moonshine. Madhura hoite sumadur, taha hoite sumadur. Tahoite ate sumador apanara ekane vyape sub tribuvane dashadik vyape jarapur. The beauty of Krishna's smile is the sweetest feature of all. His smile is like a full moon that spreads its rays throughout the three worlds Goloka Vrindavan, the spiritual sky of the Vaikuntas and Devidam, the material world. Thus Krishna's shining beauty spreads in all ten directions. Smita Kirana Sukarpure Paishyadara Madhure Semaru Mataya Tribhuvane Bhamsi Chidra Akashe Taraguna Shabdi Paishe Dwane Rupe Paya Pariname. His slight smiling and fragrant illumination are compared to camphor, which enters the sweetness which enters the sweetness of his lips. His slight smiling and fragrant illumination are compared to camphor, which enters the sweetness of his lips. That sweetness is transformed and enters into space as vibrations from the holes of his flute. Saitwane Chodike Daya Andabedi Vaikunte Jaya Mole Paishe Jagatera Kane Sabmato Jalakori Balatkari Anedori Visheshata Juvatirgane. The sound of Krishna's flute spreads in the four directions. Even though Krishna vibrates his flute within the universe, its sound pierces the universal covering and goes to the spiritual sky. Thus, the vibration enters the ears of all inhabitants. It especially enters Goloka Vrindavan Dham and attracts the minds of the young damsels of Rajabhumi bringing in them forcibly to where Krishna is present. Dwani Bora Udata Pativrata Bhangibrata Patikola Hoite Taniyane Vaikuntara Latmigane Jekore Akarsane Tarage Keva Gopigane The vibration of Krishna's flute is very aggressive and it breaks the vows of all chaste women. Indeed, the vibration takes them forcibly from the laps of their husbands. The vibration of the flute attracts even the goddess of fortune in the Vaikuntha planets to say nothing of the poor damsels of Vrindavan. So you can see, Mahaprabhu is very affected. Is <laughs> going on in... in in his ecstasy, talking with Sanat and Goswami. Nibi kashaya patiyage griha dharma karaya tyage bole dori ane krishna stane lok dharma lajjavoy sabagyana lukta hoy aiche nachai sabnarigane. The vibrations 
of his flute slackens the knots of their underwear even in front of their husbands. Thus the gopis are forced to abandon their household duties and come before Krishna. In this way, all social etiquette, shame, and fear are vanquished. The vibration of his flute causes all women to dance. Of course, these topics are very high, but I, I'm just reading in sequence. I don't, I don't, what it, what's the word? I don't, uh, I don't censor anything. Kanera bitara bashakori apane taha sadasvore anya shabda nadeya praveshite anakata nashune kan ana bolite bolai bolai an e krishnera vamshira charite. The vibration of his flute is just like a bird that creates a nest within the ears of the gopis from. Re- and always remains prominent there, not allowing any other sound to enter their ears. Indeed, the gopis cannot hear anything else, nor are they able to concentrate on anything else, not even to give a suitable reply. Such are the effects of the vibration of, Lord, of Krishna's flute. Puna kohe bhaya jnane ana kohite kohilun ane Krishna Kripa Tomara Upare Morachita Brahmakori Nijaishvarya Madhuri Moramuke Shunaya Tomare Resuming his external consciousness, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Sanatana Goswami, I have not spoken of what I intended. Krishna is very merciful to you because by bewildering my mind he has revealed his personal opulence and sweetness he has caused you to hear all these things from me for your understanding. This was not what I was thinking, was planning on speaking, but Krishna has, uh, but Krishna has bewildered my mind by his personal opulence and sweetness, and he is, and in this in this way I'm speaking these things. Amita bol, bola anakohite anakohe Krishnera. Madhuri Amrita Shruti Jai Pahi Amita Amita Bol Anakohite Anakohi Krishnera Madhuri Amrita Shruti Jai Bahi. Since I have become a madman, I'm, I am now saying one thing instead of another. This is because I am being carried away by the waves of the nectarian ocean of of Krishna's transcendental sweetness. Tabe ma prabhu kaneka muna kori rahe mane e kori puna sanatane kohe. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then remained silent for a, mo- for a moment. Finally adjusting things within his mind, he again spoke to Sanatana Goswami. Krishna ara madure ara mahaprabhu muke Ihaje shunye se bashe premasuke. If anyone gets an opportunity to hear about the sweetness of Krishna in this chapter of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, he or she will certainly be eligible to float in the transcendentally blissful ocean of love of God. Sri Rupa Raghunad Pade Jaraas Chaitanya Charitamrita Kohe Krishna Das. Praying at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath, always desiring their mercy, I, Krishna Das, narrate Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports to Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Mad- Madhyalila, 21st chapter, describing the blissful characteristics of Krishna.
Can you give me that songbook there? Ruth Bates Faith Book there. That's page 60. I don't usually use the songbook, but since today I'm forgetting the name of my mother, I better look at it. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jarabaya Nama Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jarabaya Nama Jarabaya Marabaya Krishna Jarabaya Nama
Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridhari Jyoki Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Tilak Nere Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Paramansa Paravajaka Charya Ashtatara Zadra Shishi Maharaj Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Paramansa Paravajaka Charya Ashtatara Sadashi Shiman, Srila Bhakti Rakak Sri Radev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad, Srila Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad, Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad, Vaishnava Sarva Bhoma, Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai, Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai, Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai, Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath, Shri Jiva Gopal, Bhatta Dasha Raghunath, Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Premzigo, Shri Krishna, Chaitanya Prabhu, Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadan, Harshi Vasudhi, Shri Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, Shri La Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai, Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai, Jai Om Vishnupad Vishwabharanya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Navadip Dham Ki Jai Shri Dham Mayapur Ki Jai Saparsada Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai Saparsada Shri Man Mahaprabhu Ki Jai Shri Kova Yu Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Sokal Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai Ganga Devi Ki Jai Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopi Gopadana Shantana Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Jyoti Ki Jai Shri Purushottam Madam Ki Jai Baladev Subhadra Jihagana Jyoti Ki Jai Bhakti Vigna Vinashaya Shin Shingadev Ki Jai Bhakti Prabhada Shri Prahlad Maharaj Ki Jai Samaveda Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai Gaur Brahmanande Hari Hari Gaur Shri Bhakti Prabhupada Jinnara Maharaj Jai. 